Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro, located in San Diego, California, where my firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. In this video, I want to talk to you specifically about felony arraignments and the value of making sure you have a quality criminal defense, locally experienced criminal defense law firm by your side, starting at the first court appearance. An arraignment on a misdemeanor or a felony is the first court appearance. That's where you, assuming the prosecutor has filed criminal charges against you, are advised of what those charges are, advised of your constitutional rights, and you will be entering a plea of either guilty or not guilty. Well, in about 99.999% of the time, that plea is not guilty, whether it's the best case for you in the world, whether it's the worst case for you in the world. And then future court dates are set. If you or a loved one wind up being in custody, meaning currently incarcerated or out of custody, and a prosecutor or a judge is considering raising your bail, putting you back into custody, it is even more valuable to make sure that you have the right team, the right attorney by your side at that first court appearance, who will be able to have already met with you, already flushed out some of the issues in the case, already established a game plan moving forward, so we're not just going in there setting dates. Well, that date looks good. There's usually a purpose on why we're setting a date on a certain day, or at a certain month, or at a certain stage of the case. Whether it's to enable you if you're going to get in substance, substance abuse treatment, mental health treatment, domestic violence classes, whatever the appropriate avenue may be, there's a reason why we're setting dates at a certain time. And that really only comes if you have the right attorney and ex locally experienced attorney by your side, also who could get very creative. He or she could get very creative in the reasons why we're putting things out, setting things on a certain day, making sure we have a handle on our own individual calendars so we can give your case the attention obviously it needs to continue to represent you at as high, if not a higher level, than any firm in San Diego can. Another factor is, let's say you have a situation where you're in jail or a loved one, your brother, your father, your, your mom, your, your sister, who, your girlfriend, whoever, and it's a really, really high bail amount. So the family makes the decision, hey, I'm not going to bail this person out. Let's see what happens at the arraignment. Well, okay, that's a, that's a logical decision a lot of times, but without a plan in place, without the right attorney by your loved one's side, it's really not much of a plan, right? It's sort of a guess and a hope. Well, I hope the bail gets lowered, but what are we really doing to, to effectuate that? What are we going to do to give yourself or your loved one the best chance to get their bail lowered to establish a plan? I had a case the other day in, in July of 2022 where a client was in jail on, on a really high bail. We were able to get them a referral to CPAC. CPAC is house arrest, home detention. They're allowed to going to be they're going to be allowed to be released without having to post bond, without having to post what would have been about fifteen, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars to a bail bondsman. They should be released within a couple of days to house arrest. Not only did they save that money, they're not going to have to pay in bail. They're now going to be able to get custody credits for the time that they're on house arrest. So assuming the case results in a conviction, they will be accumulating credits off whatever sentence they receive for basically being at home. Okay, but that didn't come just on a whim. That doesn't come from meeting your client for the first time at court. That doesn't come from, well, you know, I've been doing this 15, 16 years and what's the arraignment, big deal. No, that comes from making sure you're planning, making sure you get to know your client, making sure you get to have that vision that each case is different. You don't want to be treated just like every other case that attorney or that law firm may have because then really how are they treating you any different than how the cops may have already treated you, how a prosecutor may view your case, and how unfortunately a judge may look at your case. That's really the value of having the best locally experienced criminal defense attorney. More importantly, the best locally experienced criminal defense firm possible represent you at your arraignment as early as possible. Set the tone, protect your rights, protect your freedom, protect your future. If you have any questions about a felony arraignment or what my firm or any quality locally experienced criminal defense law firm should be doing for you or your loved one at their arraignment and beyond, we're just a phone call away. Just give us a call, 619-295-3555.